each other on social media. They have something to prove out on this golf course today. Oh, I'm jumping around in my seat and I can also see Rich Beam doing exactly the same. He managed this feat back in 2002 when he won the PGA at Hazeltine over the great Tiger Woods. Oh, please, Luke, don't mention that. Once we get Rich on his high horse, there's no getting him down again. Although he has shown that it can be done. Tiger Woods can be beaten. However, it is such a tall order. I know that this player has beaten all of these incredible roster of players in all these rivalries so far, but come on, this is Tiger Woods. Can it really be done today? Well, that's the question we're gonna get answered, aren't we? Very few people have ever laid claim to beating Tiger head to head. Good luck in your rivalry, you're gonna need it. He's currently tied for 12. And after a birdie at the last, he'll take the honor on the hole. Players looking to make a four here, but never disappointed with a par five. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 195 yards. Looks to be going with the six iron. Well, they look like they're taking this on in two. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. A great opportunity here. This for Eagle. Ooh, right by the hole. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PJ Tour. Looking for another birdie here. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Just one bunker surrounds the screen. A difficult par three to say the least. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Oh, you know you want to. And that's a long range bomb. And rest assured their rival will be looking over their shoulder. The fourth of TPC, Boston Rich, a great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. Nicely done. Second shot here on the fourth. Oh, almost went in. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Just one off the lead after that hole. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. You like that, didn't you? Standing up over this one after a bunch of birdies. Always a good way to start. Let's see where they go from here. Good sounding strike, that one. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. 
This part of about seven feet to the hole. I like the look of this. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And that will take him to five under. This hole's a tough two-shotter. A long par four. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogeys and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. It's that goes down for an eagle. Oh, so good. What a shot. Luke, love it. Let's take another look. Well, Luke, I think he's found his distance. After that hole, he's no longer sharing top spot. He's at the summit all alone. Well, they'll be looking to use that momentum they generated on the last with an eagle. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here because birdies will be had by the big hitters. All guns blazing here. They've got full attack mode on. Now he's got his eyes set on the putting surface. An aggressive play here. Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. And the birdie with big wings on the table here if they can make this one. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. I'm pretty sure this player will be full of confidence now after that eagle back at the last hole. Par three and a diabolical green to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. What a 
the shot. He's hold it. Hole in one. Meet you in the 19th hole later, my friend. What a shot. What a shot. Let's go ahead and put the old stink eye on another one. Hole in one. I could watch this on repeat. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. Time to see what this par four has in store. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. This one is all over it. And another fine looking strike, this one. It'll find the green. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. An opportunity for a birdie here. Better than most. And that punt will give them birdie number six on the day. And Rich, we're heading into the back nine now, but I'm still thinking about that ace on the front. What a beauty that was. Unreal. I, I got to say, to watch that ball go into the hole was Awesome, this player is still flying high. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Oh, it's not often you come up against Tiger, but he's really proving himself out there today. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Yep, that shot safely on the green. This part here to get to 14 under the card. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. 
After that hole, this player is currently in first place, with Colin Morikawa in second. Wow, that was just striped. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. He's going to have to go down after this one, try and dig it out as best he can and hope for the best. Good choice. Go with the three iron. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. That's inside the range. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Around 110 yards to go. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Outstanding shot. High quality. It's just about three feet away. Oh, he's on fire today. Building upon his lead, hole after hole. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I got to say, it is a difficult par four, and you'd be happy to walk away with that score. That should find the cut stuff. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. They converted par four for the tournament, Rich, and it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Wow, what a shot. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th and sets up a chance for birdie. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. After that hole, this player is currently in first place with Colin Morikawa in second. Always positive coming off a of birdie. Let's see what happens here. Par four. And a fun little par for it, that just 421 yards from the back. Fairly generous fairway, but a green that can provide some entertainment as there's some different swales in the green, and your golf ball can go a wandering if you're not careful. Club up. I like this play. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. 
And seemingly an insurmountable lead with just four to play. Gotta like his position. Well, this player's mighty fine. Their lead is now nine after that performance. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Going with the six iron here. Well, this one's going right at the flag. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Well, that'll play. Well, with that good play, this person is now in first on the leaderboard with Colin Morikawa in second. But this is quite an astonishing performance by our leader. Their advantage now out to double digits. I'm not sure if the chase back is good enough to catch them. Not bad. Second shot here on the 17th. <laughs> oh, that one just missed the hole. Lining up the birdie putt here. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Oh, that was pure. Well, I like the way this person's playing. Birdies all over that scorecard. Absolutely, it's been a good streak late in the round. Opting for the six iron. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high calibre. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. He knows if he can get this punt to drop, he'll win the event. Surely it... And you can go ahead and add another title to your list of wins. Having to build another basement, Luke. He's racking up the hardware. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic?
That was an outstanding start by this player, Rich, and they've gone on to victory. What a way to win. It's very rare where you see a player absolutely dominate a field like they did in this tournament. Unbelievable job all around. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.